daddy. My daddy's gonna fit it all for me. There you go. Big old unit. Sweet. We're getting noises. That dump valve sounds so good. Give it some, you sponge monkey. haven't already then why haven't you subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're first to get a notification about every time one of my amazing videos goes up on my amazing automotive YouTube channel now you join me in my bar 595 Trofeo and it is gonna be a good day today because the mods are going on so um, if you haven't already then click on the link above and you would have seen that I got through um, I received my order or forge um, parts for this car um, so what parts they are a forge induction kit and then after that uh, first order from a forge I then got another order with some more bits which I'll tell you about when we get to where I'm going I'm just heading to my parents house um, because my daddy my daddy my daddy's gonna fit it all for me so uh, he obviously fitted uh, all the stuff all the induction kit on there above so um, he's gonna do it all on mine Oh, there's a crow eating something in the road, it's disgusting. Yeah, exciting day, can't wait to see the outcome, can't wait to hear it suck in the air from being inside the cab here. And um, I'll guess the next time I'll see you will be in about half an hour or so when I'm at my parents' house with my dad. So, uh, but for now I'm going to enjoy his country roads. So, yeah. Just got the forge boxes in the car at the moment. So that was the induction kit box. Now, this was the other box which I said arrived a little after the induction kicks, I'd do order these bits up so I've sucked the box. So here is a big blue turbo pipe and apparently that pipe on its own adds about four horsepower. And then in this little box the dump valve. So yeah all this forge stuff is going on the little 595 Trofeo today. So this is a before we obviously fit the forged stuff. So annoyingly, I didn't know when I bought this car, this has an IHI turbo, which is different to a Comp and Turismo turbo, I believe. So my dad's got the Garrett turbo, I've got the IHI, which is why I had to have a different turbo pipe, um, forged turbo pipe for my turbo, not the same one as my dad's. So it is annoying because it means I might not be able to get the same power doing everything similar to my dad means I might not be able to get the same power that he's getting out of his Garrett compared to mine, my stupid IHI turbo, but we shall see because apparently sometimes the horsepower still varies. So I've just got here, so the engine is pretty hot. So we need to take quite a lot of this scuttle pan off, windscreen wipers off, which my dad is here obviously doing now. Um, and then, because we need to cut a hole apparently under here for the actual intake to suck the air in through the engine. Just deja vu, Dad. Mm, it's quite fun taking that stuff off. Uh, oh, was that a good noise? Yeah. That's why I hate about taking things apart, you never know, do you? Someone looks like they've done this before. Yeah. Let's remove this bit of plastic, and this is a bit apparently we cut into. Oh. That's that. This is when all the pretty stuff then comes off, but then, however, afterwards you're left with a nice forge induction kit instead. This is going to be a better video than the last one we did when we were installing this kit to my parents' above, which you can click here. So, watch that one. Compared to this one, let me know what one is your better preferred all round video. Hopefully, this one's a bit more informative. Unit. Some people sell them, but it's no point because we'll keep it in case yeah. we need to like take it back and get another rub off. This is the current turbo pipe, which is going to be replaced by the blue pipe I showed you earlier. So yeah, this is the new turbo pipe supplied by Forge. Mm -hmm. 
so I did opt for a red one, but they're out of stock. They had a black one next and a blue one. I thought I'd be a bit fancy and go for a blue forge one, seeing as blue's their sort of forge colour. So yeah, to so leave them out. It is replacing this plasticky old thing. There guys, is my little turbo. Taking a few bits off this little bit here. So just remove this bracket thing. It's our little parts box. What you think it's like a boost sensor? Yeah. So we need what do we need now? Don't wrap it. Yep. Back into the parts camper. Here after the dump valve kit we're gonna get. There we go. Sweet! No. That's, a, that's, that's the baby. That's a little plug. You haven't put your forged stickers on yours yet. I've got two now. Got on either there. side. I can't remember where bits go. You go to the car where you've done this all before and you have a little check. Right then, good. There it is. Oh, that looks dirty, doesn't it? Yeah, I was just going to say that. What's happened there? It's all chip. Yeah, it's just rubs on the undersill, isn't it? Oh, I suppose. Yeah. Kit comes with everything you need. Including little diddy cable ties. Spaghetti... What's this? Silicone hose. Silicone hose. So Dad's just put literally some of the silicone hose on this nice shiny bit. Don't know what it does yet. Where did it go? Oh, behind the yeah, behind there. Oh, okay. We've now reattached. We can't really see it, but one of the. What was it, Dad? I think it's the boost sensor. No, but that thing we've just put on this clamp thing here, oh, and then you then put the pipes back in. Yeah, so bracket. We just had to reuse that bit. So I now sort out the uh, spaghetti hose. So we're about to fit the dump valve, I believe. So Dad's just put this electronic bit onto this dump valve bracket. Thing spaghetti is going onto the electronic contraption. Right, cable okay, we'll tie for that. Sweet. So the dump valve has to hide all the way down there. Mm. So the old spaghetti hose then plugs into this electronic device as well. Batteries come out so we can then lift the battery tray out, I believe, and put another space for in for one of those um, another sensor things. So battery, battery tray, everything, and the ECU is out. So we think it's probably that little sensor there we need to put the spacer on. Well, that was the only one hiding under here, so it must be that one. So then we have a taxi spaghetti hose to this other spacer. which has just gone on, you can see the steel bit there. Shiny bits, that's a spacer for this sensor. Then we can probably get all the battery bits back in, cover that all up again. So from this, then goes into... This electronic bit, so we've got hoses coming out everywhere from this dump valve bit here. Big blue pipe has made an appearance. I really am proud of this thing, Dad. I really like this bit. Little baby. It's pretty self explanatory, isn't it, doing this? Hmm. The kit comes with everything you need, doesn't it? Yep. To get the job done. This clip is a bit too big for this bit, Forge. So Forge even give you, this is my dad's copy, uh, in, wait, a cutting template. Um, so this is the scuttle where we're just about to cut. So um, yeah, the car can basically suck in all the air and it can go through the system. So uh, yeah. So dad used a template and has cut a hole through the sort of scuttle panel bit. I was just putting the car back together, so the underneath is the bit where the hole is, where the uh, air intake bit's gone. Then we're just putting the top bit on, the wipers go back on, and then that'll be all the plastic sort of side of things put back on as if they were never touched. So that's that oh, bit. Yeah. Where do you reckon that goes in? Well, you should know. Better? Hmm. It's the finishing touches, isn't it? Mmm, pretty much. Go oh, like that. I can all adjust it later, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. No. All connected up. That blue pipe does stand out quite a bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh well. Done. It's all going smoothly until Dad dropped one of the clips into the under tray. But these things happen, I guess. By the way, the blue looks lovely from here. Yeah, so proud of that blue pipe. I know I've said it once, but I'm going to say it again. We hooked it out. So she shouldn't have an engine light come on then, should she, Dad? Hopefully. No engine light. Or is it because the engine, the thingy's open? <laughs> We're getting noises! That dump valve sounds so good! So excited, no engine management light yet. But we'll see how long that stays off for basically. Hopefully it won't come on at all. But yeah, it all seems uh, well so far. Right, so I've been driving the car for about five minutes. So yeah, massive thanks to my dad for fitting this Forge induction kit and a massive thanks to Forge for giving it to me. A bit of a discounted cost so I could buy the induction kit and the um, dump valve as well. And even when I'm not giving it some, you can obviously still hear the intake, the intake doing its thing. So I'm just up and down the Jewelies at the moment, I'm just going to drive normal for a minute. on your car which you can actually hear it doing something because you can always hear it sucking in the air but with this it's definitely making more sort of whooshing noises especially when you lift off <laughs> the accelerator yeah oh <laughs> i'm interested to see and hear what it sounds like outside the people um pedestrians look over and it might be because of the noise or it might just be a coincidence but um right okay let's go website link below and uh, more details in the description because oh my it obviously adds horsepower to the engine I'm not sure how much but it also adds this incredible noise and you must get the induction kit and the dump valve for a good noise combo let's just go back again and do another lap my car so early on it's only done 1500 miles so maybe that's bad to modify a really new engine but because obviously I did give the Abarth back so early it's because I wasn't enjoying it as much as I maybe hoped I would but now I'm modifying it to my own taste I'm now starting to enjoy it more because it is making more noises it is going to get a bit faster <laughs> love it love it love it very very happy let's all thank my dad in the comments below for um giving up his Saturday afternoon.
guys, so I'm now, now back home. Um, I've shown you my reactions to the induction kit, which I love it. And um, I've also shown you some of the, some of the drive-bys and some of the exterior noise which the induction kit makes. I just love it. Um, like I say, it's now going to make me want to drive the car more because it's more fun to drive and that's sort of what I wanted out of modifying my car. As well as it obviously becoming faster probably over time and the more mods I do, etc. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the induction kit below. And if you want to get yourself one for your own, a bath or any car because they do pretty much modification kits and induction kits for a lot of cars make sure you um see my description below um with a link to forge website but again thank you to forge motorsport for giving me a little discount so i could um like i say treat me a bath and treat myself to these um top quality parts and um yeah didn't really seem that hard to fit um the forge kit came with literally everything you needed from cable ties to long lengths of silicone hose so um yeah, if you know what you're sort of doing with engines and it's pretty easy to fix, just as my dad found out. Although he's really fitted his one to his car, so that's why I asked him to do mine as well. So, um, yeah, really pleased, really good day. Um, now to make this into a massive video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and um, please share with any Abarth fans, any car fans. And um, yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram for loads of photos of my Abarth and some of the other cars that we own here as well. Thanks for watching as always and see you later. Bye bye. Don't forget guys, I'm still doing this Easter meet. Again, details in the description below. So if you want to come, um, it's Dorset area. Um, bring your nice cars along and um, it should be on Easter Friday. Um, it should be a nice meet at a pub um, in the heart of the New Forest. Good driving roads, good people hopefully and hopefully a good turnout. So if you want to come along to that, see your description. It'd be good to have you with us. Bye. Well, this is nice, isn't it? The happiness you get when you get some peace and quiet from your fiance when she disappears. Whee! Give it some, you sponge monkey.